Doing a little spraying today. This pivot is moving onto the peanuts right now. It's on 100%. So as soon as it reaches there, I'm gonna put it to a lower percent. My brother right here, he is spraying on this peanut field. We are spraying some metal. It's a chemical that will kill all the nut grass that we have. Uh, nut grass can be a very huge problem for peanuts. I don't know if I can see any right here to show you. If I find some later, I'll show you, but we're spraying for it. We're gonna water it in. We're gonna water half an inch over the peanuts. And then once it gets to that end, we're gonna send it back on forward and send it around to do another half inch on the way back just to water it in quicker. And then that's the plan. This is the grass that I was talking about. This is nut grass. This stuff will overrun your fields if you don't get rid of it. It's kind of a pain. Uh, if, if you get too big of an area, you can tell there's a little bit of green spots here and there. If you get too big of an area, it'll suck out all the moisture out of the ground, leaving the peanuts with no water and then your peanuts will die off and you'll have no peanuts so we're trying to kill them as soon as possible and i hope we're not going to have a, another problem later on if we do we're going to have to put some more of this chemical just through the pivot just through the pivot you can do it you can just set up a chemigator at the pivot so put it into the pivot and let it water so you can do that but it's just a whole lot easier just to spray it onto the field so I'm hoping we're not going to have a problem with this later because that's not going to be really good. But this should do the job. I just turned the pivot to a slower percent. Now I'm just going to drive along here just to double check just to make sure that all the tips are open. If there's any closed ones, I'll open them. Because we do want it to water the chemical in evenly. Very good. No tips closed. I love how you can start seeing the green rose already. This looks good. And here on this other half where the pivot just came off of, we were water watering up our cotton and you guys, you can see, we have our little cotton coming up out of the ground. And now that he just sprayed this half right here, I'm, I now put this pivot on 100% forward to where it'll line up right here before I put it on a lower percent to where it does also 5 tenths. And I can open this valve now here. And I'm going to close two valves, one on that pivot and one of those pivots, or the other pivot over there. The, those two pivots are done watering now. So now I'm going to close those two and open this one and all the water should go over here and valve open valve number one closed and pivot turned off actually it's going to turn it off like that that way we can turn it later with the field net if we have to that way because this, this disconnects it completely so yeah just off that'll do
number two is closed. And turning off this pivot. There you go. And while I wait for that pivot over there to pressure up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this little three tower that we have right here. My brother just really finished spraying this one half here, so now I can turn it on already and set it on its way. It's almost straight with the row, so I'm still gonna turn it on. What's great about this pivot, it's all connected with auto, so all I have to do is that. Just flip that one switch. Now all the wells, well there's two wells, there's this one here and one right there at the end of the pivot. There's two wells that go into this pivot, so that's automatically connected. They'll both turn on, water will come into this pivot and then it'll start watering. Just draining any sand if there is any. Doesn't look like there is, so I can close that. If you can hear that crackling, that is just a little bit of air still stuck in the lines and it's just slowly leaching out. And it looks like it's about straight with the rows, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a lower percent. Just got to rate. Uh, B application, 0.5, half an inch, 32%. There you go. Now let's go open some tips. Dang, not a single tip closed. I like it. spraying around the well right there and in this pivot but it works the boom's kind of swinging around a little bit
And now I can turn on this pivot. Go open this valve and close that one. We got water. With these wobblers, every now and then they just like to spray off to one one way. Kind of, kind of got to just wiggle them a little bit, and then they're good again. I guess when we planted this, I guess we probably planted a little bit too close this way. So you can tell the pivot is a little bit of a at an angle, and so now this little bitty pie right here, these few few rows are not going to get as much water, but I think that'll still be okay. Uh, these wobblers can spray a little bit further, but it'll be, it's only going to be a little pie right here, so it'll be fine. Uh, there's quite a few of these. Another one right here. I guess they're not wanting to wobble, so to speak. The rest should probably probably be good, though. Like we got a few tips here that don't quite have water yet. You kind of hear the wind rushing through them. That one just started spraying a little. This one's getting water now. There's a few tips here yet and water's almost to the end. This pivot is a little bit slower with the water. The water travels from all those other three fields on this one section and we're only watering a half of one field. So we're only watering 60 acres. That's about as much as water that there is. But the water has to travel from down there. There's the big valley over there. The water has to travel from down there all the way to up here. And sometimes it can take up to 30 minutes just by the time the water gets to this pivot before it start, finally starts watering. And now this pivot is up and running. Got two more to go. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process again with these uh, these two fields. Uh, I gotta open that valve over there, open that valve over there, close this valve, close that valve, close that valve, turn on that well, that well, and this one, and the one at that pivot, open all the tips, and then it should all be good to go. So I'll let you know how it goes. Just got done. Uh, my brother's still spraying over there. I'm gonna go ahead to where he parked the spray trailer. And I got about 20 pounds in one pivot and about 15-ish in the other pivot. Uh, it kind of goes uphill from the first pivot. So I had to close that valve pretty far. So I finally got enough pressure going towards the other pivot to where I finally had 15 pounds of pressure so it looks like he just got done spraying this half right here he has one more circle to spray and then we're gonna call it a night thanks for watching guys